Vertical videos are rapidly taking over the world. Brands are increasingly demanding this type of content, but shooting on smartphones creates challenges for CG work. Even experienced VFX artists encounter problems. This video will be useful for producers, cinematographers, match move, and CG artists. We'll break down the mistakes that lead to missed deadlines, sleepless nights, stress, and increased post-production budgets. Let's get started. The number of urgent requests to rescue projects has grown significantly. The main issue you're likely to face is tracking. Either the camera cannot be solved or it's impossible to accurately recreate the scene geometry for adding CG, or the geometry simply doesn't match. So what can you do about it? Let's go through it step by step. The inability to achieve proper 3D camera tracking and accurately fit geometry into the scene is often caused by smartphones using warp stabilization. This technology analyzes motion in different parts of the frame and locally distorts the image to compensate for camera shake. In simple terms, when you shoot video on a smartphone with default settings, then every frame containing deformations that don't follow the math of optics. The inability to recreate accurate scene geometry is also linked to the absence of parallax, that shift in objects when the camera changes position, which is what creates a sense of depth in the scene. To avoid these issues, we recommend not relying on the default video recording app. Instead, use specialized third-party apps that allow full manual control over your shooting settings. Let's look at the setup using the Blackmagic camera app. General app settings. Resolution, 4K. Maximum is better. Color space, Rec 2020. HDR for an extended dynamic range. For iPhone Pro models starting from the 15th version, set Apple Log. Codec, ProRes 422. 422 HQ is generally unnecessary due to significantly larger file sizes. Enable vertical video, on. Lock white balance on record, on. Lens correction, off. This setting is crucial for 3D tracking. Shooting settings. Choose any lens you prefer, but keep in mind that longer focal lengths can sometimes be more challenging to track since parallax becomes less pronounced during camera movement. Set FPS to 25 or 30. In some cases, you can use 50 or 60. ISO and shutter. Keep ISO at the minimum value and increase it only if necessary. If the frame is overexposed even at the minimum ISO, shorten your shutter speed. If it is acceptable for the director's creative vision, we recommend using higher shutter speeds to reduce motion blur, which can make tracking more difficult. When shooting outdoors, you often have to shorten the shutter speed because it's the only way to reduce exposure once your ISO is already at its minimum, or use ND filters. Set white balance and tint manually or auto and lock it. Stabilization, off. This is a critical setting because stabilization creates warp artifacts. Turn it off and instead use external stabilization tools like gimbals, sliders, etc. Focus distance. If your shooting scenario allows, manually set and lock the focus distance. This is the ideal solution because changing focus distance also changes focal length and distortion, making tracking more complicated. Shooting principles. Camera movement. Good tracking requires parallax. That means the camera needs to move through space while filming. Rotation alone is not the same as movement. If the director's vision doesn't include camera movement, we recommend starting the recording, performing a movement pass that creates parallax, and then, without stopping the recording, shooting the main shot. Afterwards, send the entire plate for tracking. When there's little or no parallax in your footage, you'll need a 3D scan of the location to accurately recreate the scene geometry. Apps like Polycam or Reality Scan are good enough for this. Remember that stabilization or any other frame transformations should always be performed only after the visual effects have been added. For your convenience, we've prepared a preset with the optimal settings for the Blackmagic Camera app. You'll find the download link in the description of this video. Share this info with your colleagues and have a billions of views on your own videos.